This week on Science Sensei. Uh, Mr. Trump. <laughs> <laughs> As a special treat for this week's Science Sensei, I'm hosting the show wearing an invisibility cloak. Researchers at... Oh, wait. Oh, wardrobe! Okay, so invisibility research isn't quite there yet, but researchers are reporting real progress in making fact out of this staple of science fiction. To explain, first we need to go back to 2006, when researchers at Duke University created a device that renders objects invisible to microwave radiation. Normally, objects reflect microwaves, radio waves, and visible light to different degrees. The reflected energy is what is seen by radar and our eyes. But in 2006, the researchers created a ring of concentric circles made from specially fabricated metamaterials that bend the microwaves and cause them to make a detour around the object. They come out the other side as if this detour never happened. So if you put something inside the ring, it's effectively invisible to microwaves and does not cast a shadow. Critical technology if you're trying to cloak yourself from microwave radiation. Oh! Hey! There are real applications, like super stealth planes that can evade any radar, or incredibly efficient and compact wireless antennas. But of course, the biggest impact of the report that appeared in the journal Science was to fuel speculation among muggles about the feasibility of an invisibility cloak. But skeptics pointed out that visible light is on a scale 1,000 times smaller than microwaves and interacts differently with various materials. Also, the microwave device is designed to work in just two dimensions, like on a tabletop. So there was still work to be done. Now researchers at the University of Stuttgart in Germany have announced that they've created a metamaterial that operates in the infrared light range. Their device is made from horseshoe-shaped gold nanowires that are stacked to form a three-dimensional grid. The construction is a first step in making three-dimensional metamaterials that work in a broad band of optical wavelengths. This approach could lead to a material that provides some invisibility for larger objects, even when viewed from different angles. We tried to track them down for a demonstration. Unfortunately, no one seems to be able to find them. But clearly, the most profound impact of this technology will be in the domain of fashion, with never dreamed of accessories like the slimming suit, the ultimate solution to a bad hair day, alternatives to cosmetic surgery, a new twist on masquerade, and simply everyone will go as the invisible man for Halloween. On the other hand, the technology could decimate the job market for magicians. Yeah, you should make your act invisible. And hide and go seek would just never be the same. I called no invisibility. For Science Central News, I'm your science sensei. Uh, Mr. Trump, glad to finally get through to you. I have a solution to the problem of your new high-rises blocking everyone's view of the Hudson River. Yeah, those people's concerns are unfounded if you simply use our invisibility cloak to hide your new buildings. Well, yes, I'm familiar with their clientele. They, they want to see and be seen. But, wait, fired? What do you mean fired? I haven't even, you haven't even hired me yet. 